I think every time I've faced a challenge, I've embraced it. We men, we would put ourselves out there, we would work double hard if our inner purpose is strong. And we have it in us. The childhood was a very simple life. The biggest thing I carry with me is I didn't have pressure about school. So I think I had a mom who didn't really tell me it's all about studies, encouraged me to do the other side of it, which is uh, sports. And I enjoyed excelling in what I did. I love my sports, but I always wanted to be a mom and I, I wanted to have this family. So career was actually not part of my um, ambition, but my real happiness place was to have this whole husband, kids, and um, that was what made me fulfilled as a young girl. So circumstances is just that my big dream of being this wife and mom and happily married ever after kind of changed when I was 29 and I became a single mom. Um, I was responsible for my two kids and I was not on a full-time career at that time. I, I opted to stay and enjoy the moments with my children. So then I chose to become a career woman just simply to provide for my kids and be the best parent the kids could have. You know that drive and the purpose of having your kids in the center and of course the career is used to provide for them so you're kind of committed to make it work. I have always looked at embracing challenges, right? Uh, so you need to figure out whether you can change the circumstances. If you can't, how do you make it work for you? So women, I think, now that I've gone through it, I can look, at, look back. We have this inner strength which we don't know. Our moms have it. I see, I saw it from my mom who brought us up. She would wake up at 4 o'clock, go to sleep at 12 o'clock, and she'd put food on the table, she'd do three jobs, and she had the strength. And that's the strength we have losing financially, being bankrupt to uh, starting life again with zero bank balance and having two children with no roof, to building your house, to building a career, to making sure your kids have ended up as good human beings. Recently, they put me on that 50A list and my son sent me a note and they said all this, that they're proud of me and stuff, but at the end of it, keep going, doing what you're doing and we are standing right behind you. And I cried so much because end of the day, somehow that inner girl who had that dream wanted somebody to stand by you and stand alongside you. But now if I know my son stand behind me, I guess I've done something right. <laughs> <laughs>